uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, in this video we are going to talk about the uh, Griffiths experiment the Griffith experiment uh, which was uh, reported in 1928 by a British bacteriologist uh, Frederick Griffith it was the first experiment suggesting that bacteria are capable of transferring genetic information to a process known as transformation now uh, the main aim of the uh, Griffith was uh, to uh, make a vaccine against the pneumonia in 1928 because uh, pneumonia it was a serious cause of death uh, after the post world war one spanish influenza pandemic so uh, Griffith he was actually interested in making a vaccine against the pneumonia so that the uh, people can be prevented from uh, these kind of the infections now Griffith used two strains of the bacteria pneumococcus uh, the streptococcus pneumonia uh, which infect mice uh, one strain he used it was known as the uh, smooth strain and that smooth strain was a virulent strain by virulent i mean that when the infection was because of this strain that was going to kill the host another strain that he used that was the rough strain which was non-virulent it means that if uh, you are infected with uh, this particular strain of the uh, streptococcus pneumonia that is not going to kill you the uh, smooth strain uh, if you that was called the smooth strain because if you looked at uh, on a media plate its surface is very smooth and the uh, rough strain if you look at the uh, them on the media its uh, surface that was very rough therefore they were called is the smooth and the uh, rough strain now the question is why the uh, smooth strain it was virulent and the rough strain that was avirulent if you look at the uh, rough strain uh, the rough strain it was synthesizing a polysaccharide capsule that was protecting it from the host immune system so when you are infected with the uh, smooth strain that is going to uh, that is going to defeat your host immune system and which was actually resulting in the uh, death of the host while the uh, rough strain they do not have the ability to produce this uh, protective polysaccharide capsule and the host immune system was easily killing the uh, rough strain of the bacteria Griffith performed a variety of the experiments in one of the experiment he injected the mice with uh, a smooth strain and is the smooth strain it was virulent so after injection the mouse dies this was an expected result then he uh, injected the mice with a rough strain and is the rough strain that was non virulent again he was getting the expected result the mouse it was surviving in the third case what he did was that he uh, heat killed the s strain and when these s strain that would heat killed and that heat killed s strain was injected into the mouse so his heat have uh, destroyed the bacteria and after injection it do not have the ability to kill the mouse so the mouse lived one of the uh, experiment that was unexpected was that when he mixed the uh, living r strain which was non virulent and the heat killed s strain or the death strain which again was virulent individually neither the living r strain nor the dead s strain was killing the mouse but when he mixed them and he injected that into the mouse the mouse died so this was a very unusual kind of the experiment now what was there in the mixture of the living r strain and the heat killed s strain what Griffith discovered was that uh, when he took the blood from these dead mice from these dead mice in which he has injected the mixture he was able to isolate both a uh, live rough strain and the smooth strain of the pneumococcus now Griffith concluded that the uh, rough strain has been transformed into the lethal uh, lethal strain by a transforming principle that was somehow part of the dead three strain of the bacteria or he was simply saying that something was transferring from the heat killed smooth strain to the live uh, rough strain and that was transforming the uh, rough strain into the smooth strain which was killing the mouse 
Today we know that the transforming principle uh, Griff observed was the DNA of the uh, smooth stream. So while the bacteria that have been killed by the heat, the DNA of the uh, smooth stream, they survived the heating process and that DNA was taken up by the rough stream. When the DNA of the smooth strain that was taken up by the rough strain, the uh, DNA of the uh, smooth strain that contained genes that was actually allowing the uh, rough strain to make smooth protective polysaccharide capsule around it. And when the uh, rough strain it was able to make this uh, protective polysaccharide capsule, it was actually converted into the smooth strain and when that was injected into the mouse, the uh, mouse died because the host immune system was now uh, not uh, was not uh, was not able to kill the uh, rough strain because it was having this uh, protective polysaccharide capsules. Now, the exact nature of the transforming principle that was verified in the experiments done by every McLeod and McCarty and by Hershey and Chase experiment which we will discuss in the uh, next video.